In the 1920s, Spain gave U.S. citizens land and a way to start a new life. They did this to keep a buffer zone in between Mexico and the increasing land of the U.S. After a long road ahead, the U.S. finally got there, but see, Mexico claimed its independence. Mexico still accepted the deal and used Texas as a buffer zone. After a couple years, Americans outnumbered Mexicans and a few Americans wanted independence. They started disrespecting the laws and so the Mexicans outlawed slavery and there was more military there. In 1835, the rebellion had started for Texan independence. Many Texans volunteered in the Mexican army and the Texans were starting to lose land. Then. When the fight was almost over, the volunteers struck back and forced Santa Ana, the dictator of Mexico, to give Texas its independence. Do you think it's a good idea? Mexico might get mad. I think it's a brilliant idea. After all, we can barter for a good deal. I still don't agree. All in favor? All opposed? The majority wins. We will not annex Texas. There was a huge debt after the war, and the Texan Republic didn't have an industry. So the first president, Sam Houston, offered free land which encouraged immigration from U.S. and Europe. The population grew by over 420% 10 years later. After those 10 years, Texas was on top of agriculture, attracting higher prices than any other agricultural powerhouse like the U.S. After that, Texas started to gain ties with Europe, and the U.S. was frightened that Texas would stop it from expanding. What are we going to do with Texas? They now have ties to the Europeans. I say we annex the country. That's a splendid idea. All in favor? All opposed? Well then, Texas will become the new state. Annexing Texas was one of the best things to happen to the U.S. Here's why. Texas was the king of the cattle industry, helped us win the Mexican War, and became a major oil producer. Mexico believed that the annexation of Texas to the United States was a violation of the 1828 Border Treaty. However, according to the U.S., such acts were a violation of international law. This added political tension which led to the Mexican-American War. Modern day Texas is a wonderful and cheap place to live. It has a majority of non-Hispanic white at 44.4% and a Latino minority of 38.2%. It has a rodeo like the one you see here every year in Houston. So wherever you live, thanks Texas for the amazing things it has brought to our government.